Hello and welcome to the Inu series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja and in today's segment we are going to discuss cloud bursts and its relations with flash floods because these are the two sides of one coin. Whenever there is going to be a cloud burst, it will definitely be followed by a flash flood in a hilly region, specifically in a hilly region. So let us have a look on the different subtopics that we are going to cover under this. These are the many topics that we are going to slide by, but also we have to understand that from preliminary perspective, facts are important. And from the main's perspective, conceptual clarity is going to be very important if you have to deal well with GSP means paper one. And conceptual clarity will be built by me. I will try to build it for you. And if you have any question, you can shoot it in the comment segment and any constructive feedback is definitely welcome. So let us move on and first of all, look at the news. Now, as we know that cloud bursts have led to landslides, flash floods, in certain states such as Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and even Jammu and Kashmir. Now let me move on by showing you certain pictures. This picture as you see is from Uttarakhand's Dehradun where it was reported that a cloud burst had happened. Apart from that, the other picture, it is from Himachal Pradesh. The landslide in the Solar district has led to the closure of National Highway 5. Apart from that also, we see other two pictures. This one is from Himachal's Dharmshala, where a landslide occurred. And another one is from Vaishno Devi in Jammu and Kashmir. Heavy rainfalls were reported there as well. What caused these hilly region to bear the havoc of nature when it comes to cloud bursts? Cloud bursts are not a new phenomenon, but of course, they are rising and why they are rising and what can be done to minimize them let us have a look at that first of all let's try to understand what are cloud bursts cloud burst is not a sudden burst sudden bursting of a cloud but it is actually a localized but intense rainfall activity that means two things we have to keep in mind it is local in nature that means it is restricted to a local area smaller area and rainfall is intense this is the second point. It means short spells of very heavy rainfall over small geographical area which can cause widespread destruction. Now generally, generally rainfall of 10 cm or more in one hour or by this standard 5 cm in half an hour can be termed as a cloud burst. Over a roughly, now two things are important, intense rainfall, second is the geography, okay intense rainfall time and the geography so intense rainfall 10 centimeter time an hour and geography over a roughly 10 kilometer into 10 kilometer area it can be classified into a cloud burst event moving ahead now according to the indian meteorological department it is a weather phenomenon with an expected precipitation exceeding 100 mm per hour okay apart from that over a geographical region of approximately 20 is to 30 square meter kilometer has been stated by IMD itself. So whenever in exam it is asked about cloud burst, you can state the definition given by the IMD because it's a government agency. Now, as you see this picture shows us how hilly regions are more prone to cloud burst. In detail, I will tell it to you in the later part of this particular segment. So you see, this is a mountain region and this is a cloud generally in cloud bursts, cumulonimbus clouds are the main culprit. They have a huge expanse, they carry a lot of moisture and because of topographic uplifting, they shed their moisture a lot in the hilly region. So when these moisture laden clouds, they reach the top of a mountain or a hill they cause orographic rain. This is the general structure that you must know. Apart from that, the filling up I will do. Now, in India, supposedly if we talk about the status of the entire country. In a year, the entire country generally receives 116 centimeter of rainfall. Okay, but that is, of course, as it is distributed to pan-India. 
whenever we are receiving monsoon through southwest or northeast monsoon it is generally distributed through a vast geography plus the time span may be a little longer than the cloud burst so that is why we do not feel the impact of flash floods and cloud burst but as we see that local geography apart from that intense rainfall and also the time is important in cloud burst these are the three main factors and of course i have to tell you mausam mausam ram is the region in india that receives the highest amount of rainfall okay and as we see the average of 1974 2020 2022 period the average rainfall in mausam ram was more than 11000 mm second is chera punji okay in the comment segment please tell me which region receives the least rainfall in india and i will take your names in the next segment moving ahead now what is the relation of cloud burst with flash floods they caught cause flash floods the cloud burst because the topology allows so the time allows so and the intensity of the cloud burst allows so, so excessive or continuous rainfall over a period of days or particular season supposedly for india if i talk about then we generally receive more than 85% of our rainfall in the periods of southwest monsoon so it can be related to that as well apart from that a particular season can also uh, look towards the coastal cyclonic flash floods that is also included in the flash flood flash floods mean occurring in a much shorter span of time flooding is different from flash flooding here only flooding can occur in a longer span of time but for flash floods it is a sudden burst of water or deluge in a specific area the us meteorological agency is the national weather service says that the flash floods are caused when rainfall creates flooding in less than 6 hours this is a definite time that the us agency has given and they have also talked about the cyclonic flash floods as well that can be also responsible for this particular thing then are they very common now they are not uncommon actually the intensity has increased may once upon a time i also heard in an interview of rajya sabha tv that because of the much more penetration of social media nowadays it has happened that the news of cloud burst reach us quickly other than that cloud burst used to occur before that as well but of course we can do we do have to understand that the amount of flash floods and cloud bursts we are seeing right now it is a symptom of climate change that will also be discussed so any area which is suffering from cloud burst or flash flood it depends on three things what is the local topology does it have a lot of mountains or plains wind system how is the wind system working there if the wind system high winds are the, if uh, the wind system is particularly inclined towards the high wind system that means faster winds are flowing over there blowing over there then they can carry away the clouds lower winds do not do so and temperature gradients as well now one study this is an information which i have taken from down to earth one study has revealed that the indian ocean has warmed faster than the global average now because of this region of indian ocean arabian sea as well as the bay of bengal because of the heating up what is happening the airs which are rising the air which is rising from here is moisture laden it is having a lot of moisture and when it travels through such a vast body it carries that moisture to the hilly areas okay it carries these moisture to the hilly areas and because of the carriage or carrying of moisture to these hilly areas in a short span of time short span as in it is taking a short span of time to reach mainland but a longer period of time to have an orographic uplifting that means the cloud is rising to the top of the mountain or the hill at a much lower pace so what happens because of that a lot of moisture gives a lot of time to the cloud for condensation right and then the surface temperature of the tropical indian ocean it rose by 1 degree celsius on an average during 1951 to 2015 compared to the global average of 
zero point seven degree Celsius. Now you may understand because of this very reason, it is quite possible that due to climate change, we might experience rising intensities and frequencies of such cloudburst and flash floods. Moving ahead, now during the cloudburst, one study has indicated when they were studying the flash floods of Kedarnath back in 2013. During the cloudburst, it is said that relative humidity and cloud cover was at the maximum level. Now, cumulonimbus clouds are generally very thick clouds. They carry a lot of moisture and apart from that, their expanse over the area is very large. They are huge expanding clouds. Okay, so remember this thing that relative humidity and cloud cover is the highest during the cloud burst. And uh, with low temperature and slow winds, low temperature led to precipitation and slow winds led to not taking away the cloud from those hilly regions. As you see here, orographic uplifting of cooling and cooling of air mass which led to the precipitation. And because of this intense pre precipitation and the topology, topology is such that it is a hilly region, it's not a plain region and also because of the constructions of road in such a manner that water percolation becomes less. These things have started happening more frequently. A high amount of cloud may get condensed at a very rapid rate and then result in cloud burst. Now, let us discuss that apart from what I told you, what does the uh, some state disaster management authority say? It says that India is the worst flood affected country in the world after Bangladesh. Before Bangladesh, sorry, before India, we have Bangladesh. And India accounts for one fifth of the global death count due to floods. It states that Chennai and Mumbai are the two prone regions of flash floods. And depression and cyclonic storms occur in Odisha, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh and other areas which is going to happen soon because this is a season of cyclone. Apart from that, National Disaster Management Authority has said that if we consider Pan-India, then nearly 75% of the total Indian rainfall we get in our four months of southwest monsoon, that is June to September. And about 40 million hectares of land in the country are liable to floods, that is said by the National Flood, Flood Commission. And that covers an area of 18.6 million hectares and that is affected annually. Now, other rivers as we know of, Brahmaputra and Ganges and many other rivers, they are so prone to flood, they have shown so many symptoms of flooding because they are even eating away the land, specifically Brahmaputra. Brahmaputra has become the widest river in India because the span is widening of Brahmaputra and it is eating away due to erosion the lands besides it. So, vertical and horizontal erosion is a lot. The Indian Meteorological Department forecasts, if here I am going to discuss if they are easy to predict. Now, the Indian Meteorological Department, it forecasts rainfall events well in advance, but it cannot tell the events of cloudburst. No meteorological department and, and, and unless we have such technology, such supreme technology which can, you know, predict cloudburst is there, nothing can happen. It doesn't predict the quantum of rainfall. Okay, what is the quantum of rainfall is not predicted by IMD. These are relatively, these are for relatively large geographical area such as a region or a district uh, and it is not possible to forecast rainfall over a very small area as well and cloud bursts are related to small areas. And for improving our prediction, we have to ensure that we get very dense network of weather instruments and putting such huge weather instruments in hilly areas is a task, it's a challenge. And computing capabilities that seem unfeasible with current technology. So we do not have the technology. Apart from that, if we have to ensure that we get the correct prediction, instruments, they need to be installed. For that, the region has to be disturbed as well, of course, in order to build that region. Again, that can induce a vicious cycle of landslides, earthquakes and whatnot. So that's a challenge. Moving ahead, now no long-term trend right now suggests by IMDB that cloud bursts are rising. But the overall amount of rainfall in India has not changed substantially. This is one of the reasons. And increasing proportion of rainfall is ha happening in a short span of time. 
that means if we are getting rainfall it's too much rainfall that means wet spells are too wet and dry spells are too dry so it's like that the rainfall amount is not increasing but the time span is getting shorter so that is why deluge is occurring not only in hilly region but pan india so the question goes like what are cloud bursts how do they lead to flash floods try to write it in 250 words so that's it thank you so much for watching stay updated and stay engaged